Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. Uh, my name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Don't shoot a man on the sticks. Yeah, dude. And we're playing Madden 21. The Washington football team. Yeah, boys. You know what's funny is I never would have played the Redskins, but as soon whoa, as they're Jonas, Washington whoa, football skin... Whoa. Football skins. Whoa, Washington football Wow. You're way too flagrant with that that, that slur. That they should have just, just called them the Washington football skins. <laughs> no, that's bad. Is this the official uh, like logo and stuff? They, uh, they're they doing a one season. Today. We didn't have enough time to figure it out. So oh, like because they don't actually have a logo right now. They don't have a name. They don't have a logo. They don't have anything. Yeah, exactly. But at least they dropped the slur. Like, you know, it, what's funny to me is that there are people right now that are just, like, infuriated by it. And I don't, I don't care if this comes across political. I don't really feel like it's a political statement. But there are people that are actually infuriated that these people, that this, this team was forced to change his name. That's just nuts to me. It really is. Yeah. I know you, Jonah, if you feel a certain way, you can go ahead and voice use your platform. I mean, they can... They we, can you can play devil's advocate if you'd like. Oh, they have the numbers on the side of the home. Interesting. It's like a college team. I, can, I like it, honestly. Yeah, I do too, honestly. Yeah. Big old W on the side would be nice. Yeah. Um, no, dude, I, I don't... I mean, it definitely was a, a word that people don't use. <laughs> it was a derogatory... Inflammatory, racially charged name. All right, <laughs> there is no reason. Yeah, that it should be used. You would never, if you can't say it to a person to their face, then you got no business calling your professional football team that ish. And I, you know what? I, I'm just, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. I'm down with that change. I, I'm down with that. But I did buy as, did <laughs> buy as much classic Indians memorabilia as I as I could, so or as I chose to at least. I got a couple hats, and, been, and mainly because I grew up with it. Yeah, would I wear? The hate forever. Did I? <laughs> you just want the hate to live on. Are you I guess. saying I shouldn't wear it in public? Whoa, Whoa, is that bad? What are you gonna do? You gonna buy some Redskin stuff and wear that out? Joe, public? I'm not gonna say that name, but no, I would not buy classic Washington football team paraphernalia. Why do you think it's okay to wear classic Cleveland? You're you're right. Actually, I probably would get some because I, okay, look, okay, the name is awful, but the like okay, I mean, yeah, we have I a you buffalo have nickel with essentially the same logo on it. It has like an Indian chief on it. Yeah, but it's a specific one, isn't it? Maybe that, maybe that's <laughs> what do you think they just put a random Native American dude on no, the court? Yeah, but maybe, maybe the Redskins were... <laughs> were they were them. not. They were not. Are you defending this? I'm just asking. Know, you can. Yeah, they can they Hold can on. Buff Buffalo Nickel Face. I'm looking it up. I just want to know who's... Uh, the, the Buffalo Nickel... It is Chief Iron Tail of the Ogal Ogaglala Og Og Oglala Lakotoa Lakoto Lakata. I am not pronouncing any of this right. Yeah. I am very very sorry, but it is Chief Iron Tail. He was the chief of two moons of the Cheyenne and Chief Big Tree of the Kiowa. So there's a couple different Native American uh, figures that show up. It wasn't just like. A composite. It's like, <laughs> like this is what we think of when we see <laughs> buffalo nickels. Yeah, buffalo on this side and just stock Getty images. <laughs> indigenous person. <laughs> God, that'd be really bad. <laughs> what is it? I mean, and I kind of feel like that's what uh, the Washington, classic Washington football team was doing, is that they just used, like, a stock Getty images, like, and then they were like, we'll make this part green and this part yellow and this part burgundy. Man, this dude is trash. <laughs> How is this team IRL, Jonas? Have you oh, paid attention bad. to him? Oh, bad. They're going to be bad. 
What, were, what, what was their record last year? Do you recall? I don't remember. No. But they're going to be bad. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I. Uh, I kind of wish they were good because I, I like it. I like the idea. Yeah, they um, they don't have very good players. Usually, you need good players to. Be good. <laughs> they don't have many good players. Yeah. Usually, you need good that's, players to be good. So. That's that's true. You do definitely need need good players on your team in order to play well. That's why at, the Browns are never good. At a competitive level. Or you can go to the Browns as a good player and then do bad. That kind of it always drives me nuts is that the Browns can get like two or three good players in a year and you'll be like oh we're gonna do great this year we got the new rookie quarterback right out of right out of college he's he's been a little spitfire and then he comes to cleveland and it's like oh didn't quite turn out nope you can get the guy be like man he was tearing it up in city x yeah dude johnny football is gonna bring the law to the he town. He brought the law to town. It's not the way that people uh, anticipated. He brought them to the various parties that he attended. Yeah, dude. Well, he's, he's a good guy. Where he imbibed and used illegal narcotics. Wow. Yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, he hurts inside, dude. I mean, I mean, I really like that. Like the colors. They should never change these colors. I don't think they're going to change the colors. The colors are amazing. Like, they really do have good colors. Yeah, burgundy and yellow. That's a pretty yeah, good combo. It's dude. a good combo. And it's like, no matter what you do with it, it's going to look nice. But I don't like any of the other names that they were looking at. Yeah. All the other names are kind of bad. Yeah, I don't know if... like Honestly, it might be one of those things where it just sticks. Because it's like it's the, only, that, it's the only football team that isn't from a state because it's from Washington, D.C. Yeah. It's from our capital. So, like, I could honestly see them just being like, we're just the Washington football team. I mean, and yeah. That actually, it's cool, dude. I like it. And to a certain, I feel like like them shopping the name so far, I haven't heard anybody say that it's bad. Most it's people. It's funny, kind of. It's weird. Yeah, it's, it's malicious compliance to a certain degree. It's like, oh, okay, we can't use a slur for our name. We'll just be the football team. How about that? It's like if like, Cleveland was like, yeah, we're just going to be the Cleveland basketball team now. It's like their penance for Base, using such racial baseball team. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah for, well, yeah. I was just showing, I'm but yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The Cleveland baseball team will be. Yeah. I don't know. That Dude, doesn't kind of ring off the same. It would, it would make you feel like uh, they're as good as they play. The Cleveland baseball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Cleveland's baseball team. Oh, the Cleveland baseball team. Yeah, yeah. Just no name. <laughs> there's no animal. No. Nope. No, no fighter. I no, think we no. should be the, uh, the Cleveland Mercury. Because all Cleveland? the Mercury that's in the lake. Wow. That is not even. No, we should be like. Do you I think something positive going for it? Lake of fire. No, Jones, that's not positive. That's a negative. I mean, a lot of people might think that it the was Cleveland pretty. Casino? The Cleveland Casino. Not bad, but I don't think that's necessarily, you know, that's kind of a, a gray area. What does Cleveland have going for it? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Cleveland Progressive Insurance. The pro <laughs> it's already Jacobs or Progressive Field, so they might as well just be the Cleveland Flows. What about the Cleveland Rock? Ooh. Cleveland Rockers? No, that's bad. That was what the Cleveland WNBA team was called. Was it? I forgot they had a WNBA team. Everyone it did. The, it was yeah. the Rockers. Yep, everybody forgot because they were not good. Yo, that doesn't exist anymore, huh? Well, the WNBA does. Not but the Rockers the aren't the team anymore. I don't even know how. I think they, they may have only been around one year for all I know. Yeah, they disbanded. They had an arena team, too. They're uh, mm. Cleveland Gladiators. I went to a game. Yeah, yes, I went to that, too. It was, it was, all right. it was very it was overly family-friendly. Like, it was like, hey, kids, come out and kick a field goal during them and i'm like yeah. i'm like okay i'm here getting drunk and like i didn't realize it was like yeah i kind of feel like they do that like i know they do that kind of stuff at baseball games because oh, i've yeah. been a, like especially when it's not like a major league baseball game so they do it at major leagues too but yeah they're always getting the kids oh, especially out there minor league stuff absolutely yeah, yeah they're always like, like come run with the kids that's stuff. really for the kids though because no one yeah. wants to go watch minor league baseball yeah it's like your kid wants to see baseball, and we're like, we got baseball at home. Right. Yeah, like, I mean, but here's the thing, dude. And I'm not trying to be a D. But, like, if your kid's, like, six, 
he ain't gonna know the difference between going to the Indian Stadium and going to see the Lake Erie Captains. Nope. He's nope. baseball's baseball's baseball. Right. Like now, if he's like 15, he'll be like, "Why are we going to the minor league? This is stupid." Like you know, but like that's like a like I just don't get sometimes why kids like parents will be like, "Oh, little Johnny's three. Let's take him to Disney World." Like that kid ain't remembering crap. Take him to <laughs> the carnival on the corner, right? dude. Like he ain't gonna right? know the difference. <laughs> I feel like that's definitely happened to me before. But on the same note, I, I've had more fun at, like, minor league games than I have at majors. Yeah, dude, well, the players are all engaging and stuff. Like, they, Yeah. Yeah, like, because they can get better seats. Yeah, oh, absolutely, for a lot cheaper, yeah. <laughs> like, did you go to the the Steel Hounds game? Oh, were, yeah. Were you yeah. there? Was that with you? Yeah, yeah, a company I worked for uh, furnished all the apartments for the players, so we had season okay, tickets. Okay, I remember you telling me the story in the car. I think I was sitting shotgun. Yeah. When we went to the Cleveland Steel Hounds, which is like a high, No, Youngstown. it wasn't the Cleveland, Pittsburgh. Youngstown, Youngstown Steel Hounds. Was it the Youngstown yeah. team? Oh, because of the fact that they were so close to... They were in Youngstown. Why did they call them the Steel Hounds? Because that sounds Youngstown like... Youngstown used to have steel factories. <laughs> That's why. I don't, I don't remember, remember you telling me. I don't that. remember. I don't know where the hound came from. But because dog, the dog pound. I get that. Uh, I don't know. Either way. But yeah. The steel hounds. We went to that game, and I had the most fun. Just like yelling, dude. Like hockey's good yeah, to watch. Yeah, dude. Well, because like yeah, they gave us a bunch of tickets to one game, and I, I think we each got like twenty tickets, and I invited a ton of people down, mm -hmm. and we all went because we had we had season tickets for our store. But right behind, first row behind the opposing team's bench. So it was like plexiglass, and that. we would like pound on it, and like <laughs> yell at them and stuff. It was fun, dude. We just wanted to fight our friends. It was that was a good time. That was dude, a good minor time. Minor league hockey is they have minor league hockey here. Yeah. It, it's pretty fun, dude. It's the Dallas Stars. I mean, we can't the, really. Well, yeah, no, the Texas Stars. Texas. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Now we can't go, but yeah. like yeah. I went. I I took the when I was married. I took my stepkids a couple times, and I've went once or twice on my own. It's it's fun, man. It's it's. I mean, so, same thing as they have a lingerie football team here too. I'm I'm good. It was it was interesting. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> just like just like uh, is there like wardrobe malfunctions? No, dude. Me and uh, the ex wife and the step kids went. We had we had. I found front row seats in the end zone. Wait, hold on. You took your family <laughs> to the lingerie football? Yeah, she wanted to go. Okay. Well, I mean, sure. I mean, they're not. It's not really long. It's just been cut up above the chest, and they have on like a bikini top, and that's the only. And they're, so their mid drift is out and stuff. It's not really in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so look, I'm gonna. I don't really get that. I don't either. I don't understand. It's like, obviously, you're trying to give the guys sports, but I think everybody knows that you, you're coming there to look at a bunch of in shape women prance around. They're pretty decent at football, dude. Half clothes, though. Of course Another they're decent. Another guy caught it and tossed it up in the air. That's fine. Of course they're decent at football. That's what they do. They've played many football games. It's yeah. their job. Right, yeah. If you got to be good. They're like, oh, I'm not just the TNA. I'm a free. I do this ish. Right. They Against do. other little wayfish girls your size. <laughs> Come and try to run past me. Let me was, check there you. There some large women. There's some dark <laughs> oh, okay. Now you're talking my number here. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had front row seats in the end zone. How are, are we talking like linebacker large, or are we talking like... No, they're just slick girls, dude. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like Chloe, like, uh, not Chloe. Yeah, like Chloe Kardashian thick, or like... Yeah, yeah, dude. Okay. Not like, uh, not like... <laughs> not like that girl that was on wrestling the other day when you came out. Not even that big? No, nah, dude. I don't even think that's that big. That's big, but that wasn't that big. Who's that wrestler? What's her name? It's a wrestler. What's her name? Nia Jax? Nia Jax. She's the Rock's cousin or whatever, yeah, yeah. right? She's, she's a big girl, dude. Yeah, but she ain't like that big. She's big, but she ain't that big. I, well, I mean, but she's also, she's fighting against like 110 pound chicks. Yeah. So she probably looks a lot bigger than she is, or she, well, actually, you know, actually, maybe it's the opposite of that. Those girls are probably, even the small ones are yeah. probably pushing 170 or something. You know That's, what I mean? Yeah, because they, they're muscle. They're all muscle. They got muscle, stuff, yeah. dude. Yeah. They're not, those aren't small chicks. No, they just look small. In comparison mm. to the six foot eight wrestlers that they stand next yeah, to, yeah, and that's the thing. It's like you, you do you do see a lot of like even with like basketball players. I used to have an issue where I'd be like, you know, all of them look by comparison, 
Like the shortest guy on the team is six three. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then you put him up against like the commentators. You're like, oh, they're all giants. It's just a bunch of giants. Yeah, dude. Well, yeah. It's like because you'll be like, oh, that guy's not very like the smallest wrestler they have. You're like, that dude's not very big. He's like six foot tall, two hundred and sixty pounds. And you're like, oh, <laughs> okay. He's a, he's not a small man. Yeah, like freaking horn swoggle. Yeah. <laughs> Is that his name? That was a midget guy. I'm sorry. Oh, what? That's what they call it in rap. I'm using the term. I don't. Know. <laughs> it's fine, dude. You can do it, dude. You you from a different time. <laughs> from a different. He was a little person. Yeah, he was a little dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> that wrong i think so i think i, just, I think the, the preferred term is little person it definitely ain't with the worst thing you said oh, no. It. no it's fine Jonas. Oh, no. i oh, love no. i love it when you speak from the 90s yeah, we, we speak from, from the 90s in the household you know, yeah, you're allowed to do to, you're allowed to do what you want to do you're getting up there yeah i am too though man i'm right behind you you know, one of these days I'll make my way downtown. <laughs> yeah, to the grave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be like watching fa uh, Facts of Life reruns on, on uh, <laughs> Lifetime. <laughs> I can't find the remote. And they're like, too bad, Grandpa. No. Like, I just want to see my sports. I kind of feel like your Facts of Life is The Office. Yeah, That's what I think, that you're going to be like 80 years old watching the rerun to the office. Yeah, probably. I could see you doing like, this that. This was funny when I was a teenager. <laughs> that, that Pam, she was a looker. Yeah, a looker. <laughs> she was kind of trash in that show. Like, uh, not, not like trash like looking, but like. She's like trash, dude. And she wasn't a good improver, actor, yeah, dude, she, actress, she, I mean. Like, her, 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 her husband had like a life dream, and then he like, she told me to go. They made him feel bad the whole time he was gone. Oh, you mean her character. Yeah, dude. She's like, yeah, just go live your dream. And then she's just like, we're just like telling him like how terrible he is all the time. Dude. Yeah. You know they're married in real life, too, right? Uh, they are not. I'm pretty sure they're married in real life. I think that was a part of it. Is why the show kind of popped off. I can check it. I can you know, I can fact check. I don't necessarily want to. I would like to just be like truth, not facts. It's definitely not truth. Is it Jim and Pam? It's uh, his name is ah f f f. I'm stuck. And what is happening? Oh, there we go. Uh, I can't even. Remember. I just want to call him Jim Hopper, but it's not. Oh, they're not married in real life. <clears throat> Nope, John Kirk Kaczynski and Jenna Fleischer. Yeah. They are not married. In people want them to be, though. They are married to other people. And they all have they have children, too. A bunch Aww. of kids. So, yeah. Well, that is the only time we have for today's episode. We shut them out, dude. Washington, Football let's TV. go, boys. Uh, Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, this dude does Twitch stuff. Tolerate at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O, my G-H-T, underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. All right, for Jonas. <laughs> we'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are a uh, Uta.